Top of the morning, everybody. A typical day of what it's like using a road trek. There's a lot of ways. My first way is uh, with my dog, Bo. First of all, this is where we keep the road trek. We have a little extension built in on the driveway. I keep it in the driveway. And uh, there's the dog out there in the yard. We're going to take him for a walk. All right, the first thing is we have to teach Bo who is not the driver. He is not the driver. I am. We're trying to get him used to the road trek, so I'm taking him for lots of walks. Ooh, this is a bad move. Bow prints <laughs> all over the seat. Oh, I think this is not a good idea. All right, we'll have to clean this off so Jennifer doesn't know that Bo trashed the road trek. One of the issues I have is to keep Bo off my lap, but uh, maybe he'll just chew his leash and he'll be happy. See, the idea is that we want Bo to think of the road trek as a very pleasant place that takes him to very pleasant places. So I use it. I use it to take him uh, for walks. So we drive back and forth to different fun places to walk, and he immediately associates the road trek with fun. Now, Bo is just a little puppy. He's only about uh, three and a half months old right now. But already, when I say road trek, his ears perk up. So Bo thinks of the road trek as sort of a fun mobile that takes him to great places, which is just exactly what the road trek is. So this is what we do. Trainer says, make it fun, and we make it fun. Little Bo loves going for walks. And of course, the added benefit about all this is that I'm outside getting exercise, enjoying nature. Hey, this works for me. When Bo starts traveling with us, he'll be spending five and six hours a day driving sometimes. But he'll be cool with that because he'll know at the end of the day, this awaits. It's a matter of association, imprinting on the young pup's brain that, well, he may have a small house on the road track, a big yard awaits. And there are rivers and mountain tops and forest streams and trails to explore. That's what the road trekking life is about. Something else that we do. We just sometimes hang out in the road track. A place to chill. A man and dog cave, if you will. Bo loves the road track. That's his place. That's where he tends to stay. And uh, already, it's uh, like a big dog house. So, that's how Bo and I are um, using the road track. Getting him used to it. Ready for a summer full of travel and adventures.